Okay, I did something and hit a button. But I was curious to see, did they protect this from the lint? And they didn't. What I usually do on the end of this, you know, you could buy those little uh, lint catchers. Some are made of like soft material. It's like a stocking goes over the end of this. And that prevents the lint. Now, even though it's PVC, and it would take a while for it to clog, um, and you have soap and Clorox and all that good stuff to help wash it out, it's not detrimental, but we kind of like to do something where we don't come back for maintenance. The other thing is, let's see. Okay, we turn this on. So now that we know this is here, it's relocated a while back. This has to be added to the winterization. So I come up and I notice that these hoses are attached. What needs to happen in the wintertime, this would be a good spot, is take these off, have a bucket, drain them out, and open this valve. So, uh, right now it's closed. When I got up here, it was closed. So I am thankful we didn't have a, a bitter winter. I mean, you can see the roof here, and I expressed in earlier videos that this dwelling has no heating system in it. Um, it has an AC. You can see a split right there. But there's no heat. So when it goes down to 10 below, or 5 below even, you know, it's colder in the house than it is outside a lot of times. How you can trap heat in, you trap uh, cold air in too. And it takes a while for it to permeate through whatever your house or your dwelling is sheathed in. So we'll make sure this is added to the winterization process. Uh, again, if it went down to 10 below and it stayed there a while, this was shut off. What it's doing is trapping water up in this valve and in the wall. So... Whoever installed that, I guess, should have told them, uh, make sure uh, in the wintertime you take those hoses off, open that valve, because you drain the house out, and, uh, yeah, because I could see this whole wall was taken out to get this apparatus in there, and how do I know that? I don't see the water pipes. So that means they did it inside the wall. So from here, all the way back to here, where you see the drops are for the hot and cold water, basically would stay full of water. And the only thing that would save you is when we winterize downstairs, we open all the valves. And what probably would happen is, again, if it didn't get too cold, the ice has a place to expand to. That's what breaks pipes when you leave the water on and you close the valves. The ice has nowhere to go. So that if you downstairs, it's all air and it's all drains open wide. It can try, but I don't know what's in this wall. What kind of, like if they did crazy stuff like this, what did they do with the water lines? Are there crazy turns? Did they put a trap in the wall? Like, you know, you go up and come down. Something like that. Would trap the water enough, and it's copper, that it would be a done duck. If they did it in pecs, they might stand a chance. The pecs can stretch a little. Copper won't. All right, so let's get on to the next video. See you.